Yo, what is going on guys? Otter Stocks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. If you're new today, we have a lot of stuff to go over, so make sure to stay till the end of the video so you don't have to watch another AMC update video here on YouTube. Without further ado, please hit the like button. It helps me out. Hit the subscribe button. Have post notifications on. Let's get into it. So the 2023 box office has nearly doubled what we got in 2022 already, and we're not even at Q2. Sitting at 723.828 million, nearly doubling 2022, while 2022 more than doubled 2021, so on and so forth, you see pre-pandemic levels being blasted, right? More people are returning to movie theaters. This is a very, very good thing for AMC for the fundamental side of things, which will essentially delete the short thesis. With this, we're on pace for about 3 billion in Q2 with these huge hits still coming. Remember, these numbers should look like what they would look like after an entire year if AMC was on track to continuously double year over year. But now we're looking Looking like we may even quadruple in 2023 with huge hits still coming such as Guardians of the Galaxy, Fast X, Little Mermaid, Spider-Man, Transformers, and Flash. Touching on the AMC Ortex numbers, we have 26.44% short interest, shares on loan at 193 million, utilization is still maxed out, so they are still stuck bouncing shares around. Cost of borrow sitting at 355% for an average and 363 for a max. So shorts are paying more than three times their position just to borrow shares against AMC. As for Ape, 5.69% short interest, utilization at 64%, and the cost to borrow sitting right around 10%. Now, why are so many funds buying tiny amounts of AMC shares? It doesn't make sense why they buy two shares, 10 shares, 36 shares, and 92 shares and report them in 13F filings. You see, why would an entity with millions of dollars in cash purchase such a small amount of shares, smaller shares than me or you or the average retail investor actually own. The reason for this is in case they need to contest a decision, they will now be a shareholder. You saw this with Allegheny owning 0.0001% or something crazy like that. This is exactly why the funds do it, which means you could see more funds try and contest this lawsuit and stall the conversion and reverse split. But if it's such a bad thing for shareholders, why is it such a bad thing for them? Which makes you question again why this vote was such a 50-50 to vote yes or to vote no and was such a hard decision. Now AMC is also still on the threshold securities list and has not been taken off just yet. We were on it for 38 consecutive days. Adam Aaron made a call. It got dumped off the threshold securities list. Probably not his fault. They probably just said, all right, listen, we got too many eyes on this just take it off the list it is what it is and now we are back on it for about eight to nine consecutive days now remember this week is going to be insane and we're going to touch on the options chain in one second but we have this lawsuit happening but most importantly we have q1 earnings coming up on may 5th which is going to be next week now according to stonker tracker amz has zero shares available to borrow most recent fee of 200 percent and the calls to puts we are losing on the options chain 3,000 calls compared to 55,000 puts there is heavy heavy selling pressure on amc and gamestop however we expect this going into the week if you didn't see my weekend update video there is a lot more puts out of the money as well than calls so more people are betting bearish on the stock come this week as well as next week as well as the week after as well as the week after that and the week after that and the week after that more people are betting puts and are betting bearish on amc over the medium term right now however one simple catalyst can completely flip the script on the options chain gamestop 350,000 shares of able to borrow 60 percent of the flow DRS according to Stonker Tracker most recent fee of 10% call to put ratio losing on the options chain 1,000 calls compared to 7,000 puts expiring in the money however more people are betting bullish on this week for GameStop even though it looks like it's about to fill that gap which we're going to talk about now the options chain expiring May 19th more people are bullish on GameStop as well and it seems as if the overall sentiment is bet bullish on GameStop bet bearish on AMC or at least retail has more buying power for the options chain for GameStop as they do for AMC it seems like the OGs are still trading GameStop from since back in 2021. Now, Roger James, the CEO of GNS, tweeted this today. As Wes Christian says, Naked Short's ultimate goal is to make their target bankrupt. This is why we need to keep fighting Bed Bath & Beyond. They may win some battles, but we will win the war. So basically, GNS is coming out and saying, yo, we're on the same side as you. We need to continue to fight for Bed Bath & Beyond. We cannot let short sellers take this thing into the floor or they will win. Moving on, touching on AMC's chart, we're getting 
smack down about 6% on the day. And you can see in this cycle, we are aiming for that low, which I said we are going to at least retrace back down to about $4.42, $4.40, somewhere in that zone at the bottom of this parallel channel, if not break even lower and come retest that $4 even level before essentially scaling up. Once we find this relative bottom, which I think we're going to find this week, if not over the next few days, I'm going to be loading up on my calls for AMZ as I only see it scaling up following this cycle and the other cycle that we have drawn out under it as well. Both are scaling up into this peak come early to mid June. Essentially, this is what I'm expecting. I also may load up before earnings. Now, before earnings hits, I will do another chart analysis to figure out what is actually going to happen with earnings. We called the GameStop one perfectly, and now we are going to figure out what's going to happen with AMC. But overall, watch that retracement back down to about $4.42. The SPY will also affect this. We're going to talk about the SPY towards the end of the video. But real quick, GameStop. GameStop is trading at $19.89, down 3% on the day, and it looks like it is going to have this gap fill. But take a look at how identical this is playing out to what we have drawn out in gray up at the top of the screen. Now, if this is going to play out to a T, which it has been since January of 2023, right? GameStop will get that gap fill come May 3rd, right? May 3rd, May 4th, right before AMC earnings and have a sympathy pop legitimately on the same exact day. That is how identical this cycle lines up, right? GameStop to come down to right here and have a sympathy pop before scaling down even further, maybe retesting this trend line that we have drawn out. That is exactly what is going to happen in my opinion, not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, but it just seems too easy. It's tracking the cycle, it has a gap fill, AMC earnings May 5th. It's as simple as that. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Now, before we move on, guys, make sure to join the Discord linked under the video where you get options, trading alerts. We post losses, post gains, talk stocks with 400 of the most amazing people who are in the Discord already. So really don't miss that. Don't miss stock opportunities. Make sure to get in there. The link is under the video. Also, if you want up to 15 free stocks, the Moomoo link is under the video as well. Once you sign up and make a deposit, it can literally be a penny from your room. You are going to get up to 15 free stocks, each valued up to $2,000. So you're getting a shot at 30 grand for just signing up and making a deposit again that can literally be a penny back to the video things that are going to affect the overall market china and russia officially are just ditching the u.s dollar for payments for oil and for gas also 19 countries have expressed an interest in joining the BRICS group of nations as well as zimbabwe requesting it today first republic bank reported earnings today ticker symbol frc revenue came in at 1.12 billion which is down 20 percent year over year earnings per share at 70 cents down 65 percent year over year and the bank shares are down 90 percent so far this year year this was very volatile today it was up about 13 percent then it was up seven percent and then essentially it just started flip-flopping back and forth you guys let me know if you traded frc today walt disney will begin a second wave of layoff as it works towards eliminating 7,000 jobs to help save 5.5 billion dollars in costs and we have very very important earnings this week such as microsoft google amazon meta snap pinterest spotify roku intel mcdonald's chipotle coca-cola pepsi visa mastercard verizon GM, ExxonMobil, Chevron, so on and so forth. All major, major plays that are going to report earnings that is going to affect the S&P 500. This is earnings week. And this is where uncertainty is floating around within the overall market. Kind of trading sideways on the day, down 0.28%. Definitely still red on the day. We're trading at 411.05. Now there's two ways the SPY can go. It's going to retrace back down to 408.50 and get a retest on that or it's going to retest $415. And I think you're really going to tell based off of what the earnings are this week. For example, if Microsoft, Google, and Apple report bad earnings, it's not gonna be a good thing for the overall market. If they report good earnings, it is going to be a good thing for the overall market. This is going to shift the S&P 500 one way or the other. So basically this week the s p 500 is just a degen earnings play at this point these are the two spots it's going to retest if you like to track it based off of the fib retracement it also lines up with the levels that we have drawn out as well overall 40850 and 415 once it retests one of those it is going to break one way or the other that is the short-term outlook on the spy now just a bonus stock to pay attention to. Ticker symbol F-T-E-K. If you guys want to slap this on your watch list, it's up 32%. There are some things happening behind the scenes. However, it could definitely be a trap. So be very, very careful the way you play this. Just wanted to slap it on your charts. As of right now, I did not take a position. Overall, guys, this is what I got for you for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. I love you all. Lottery stocks out.